Hey guys, um, I basically ran out of content for my blog and I was like, ah, uh, fuck, better make something new. Here it comes. I'm actually going to do <laughs> a makeup tutorial because they seem to go down a treat on YouTube and I thought maybe you would like to see um, how I do my makeup. So, uh, I'm, my makeup tutorial is like, it's going to be themed how to do your makeup when you're a model. Basically it's like how to do your makeup quickly and how not to get too crazy with your makeup, getting sort of like no need to overthink it, you just throw it on, you, you know your face looks good anyway without any makeup so it's both mostly just how to look like you're not really wearing much makeup, how to just enhance what you've got. So yeah, oh, my hair's a bit fluffy. Okay, um, I've just moisturised my skin and I've washed my hands. Um, I'm not really going to go through uh, what kind of products I'm using because, like specifically the products, because it, I don't really think that um, it matters. You know, you can just use whatever you have, use whatever you can afford. Um, only thing is probably if you're going to use a, a foundation, you should try a few different ones and you can get samples from places um, because some, the idea with foundation is that you shouldn't be able to see it on your skin and um, yeah, it, it, it should just like sit really nicely and I, for example I have dry skin and I've tried some different ones and they kind of, because I've, my skin is dry, they sit on the top of my skin and look a bit flaky and powdery. Um, so yeah, um, anyway, you're a model, you've got a busy day ahead of you, you've probably slept in, what, how do you start? Firstly, you just want to make sure your skin looks nice and clear, everybody has discoloration in their skin because, you know, you have eyeballs and it's just darker around there and, you know, I have some different colours around here, so I just get some of this, rushing, you're in a hurry, so you just got to put it on with your fingers and you can go like this. Just rub it in. I have a bit, bit of spottiness on my nose, so get it up and then get it up in your eyes. Around like that. I know you, maybe you should put on some like primer and stuff, but I don't really understand why you need to use that. This seems to be okay. Just get. Mm, I think I need a bit more on my forehead. How's it going? It's a bit hard to see in this. Okay. Sweet. Um, next up, I put, oh, I have something something that um, gives you a bit of like a natural glow because sometimes when you put the foundation on, it kind of washes you out a bit. So um, this one is this colour. If you go like, you go like there, you can kind of aim for your cheek bones and just, just rub it around. I've like had my makeup done a lot of times by like, oh crap by like really good makeup artists and usually if they have some glowy st stuff like this they like do it around the corners of your face and like on your jawline and stuff um oh god i've got to do this side okay it's a bit strange to do my makeup like this because it's like o the opposite sides because it's not like a mirror it's like okay okay then um that's a bit glowy then I like to put, oh, I don't usually use primer and things, but I find that if um, you put eyeshadow like on your, directly on your eyes, it gets a bit gloopy because there's like moisture in your eyelids or something. So I use this stuff. It makes, it's eye primer. So you just put some of that on each eye. That's awesome. Okay. Next up, eyeshadows. Um... I usually use a brush to apply my eyeshadow, but I've lost it. So I'll just, just gently ooh, get a bit on your fingers. Just gonna rub it. I don't. I actually, I actually think this is going badly. Oh no, that's bad. Oh no, that's wrong side. Oh, this is so confusing. I think I have to use this. I just want it to be like a little bit like bruisey. 
I don't really want it to look like I'm wearing anything, but it's just a bit, a bit bruisey. Is good. Okay, that's close now. Um. Oh, then you, I like to put a bit of pinkness on my cheeks, so looks like I've kind of like been fresh, like walking, like you've just been like out and doing some activity, so you get a bit of rosiness with this color. Then next, oh, I like to, some, I've got some uh, mascara here, I like to put that on, but I put some on. My eyelashes are quite blonde. Well, actually, no, they're not blonde because I tinted them. Because I find if you tint them, then you, oh, fuck. If you tint your eyelashes, then you don't have to do so much work. Okay, I think I've made a mess of that, but let's pretend that's not there. Okay, so I put the mascara on, and then I get some kind of lip gloss stuff. I, I'm using this colour. Don't want to look like you're really wearing anything. Mm, it's not enough. And I have this one. This is a fun one. I think it, like, you put it on, and then it starts to be... More pink. Mm. And then more of this. Because drama. And this is all the drama you need. Because your face is probably already amazing. Oh god, this is this is hard. This is the harder part. I think that's enough. Oh, this is a bit messy. Oh, uh, I would probably like maybe like get a bit of like brownie eyeshadow and kind of just like just a little bit of enhancing here and a little bit of enhancing here. But I, like I said, I can't find my brushes, so. Oh, I really? Oh, that's like this side. So yeah, I mean that's kind of what I see most models wearing, like they just want to look like they're not, don't really have much going on. So yeah, just enhancing what you've already got. You, if you've got different kind of coloured skin and that sort of thing to me, you should be using different colours, obviously, but you should probably find another makeup blogger to tell you exactly what kind of colours you need because that is not really my area of expertise. Um, I hope you liked my how to do your makeup like model tutorial. Um, yeah, I'm clearly not super good at this, so probably won't be doing another one of these. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>